In today's health, new screening guidelines released by the American Cancer Society were an attempt to clarify which women may benefit most from having a mammogram. And to help you understand these huge changes, we brought in our own medical expert, Dr. Kevin Campbell. Great to see you, Doc. Good to see you. Good morning. Okay, so we want to know about these new guidelines for the screening and what the reaction been. There's been some controversy with this one. Absolutely. You know, first of all, there's been mass confusion yeah. because women have always been told you need a mammogram every year after the age of 40. The American Cancer Society looked through 30 years of data and they found that you're better off being screened from age 45 to 55 every year and after 55 only every other year. Okay. And the reason for this is that we were getting too many false positives. In other okay. words, you have a mammogram, it's abnormal, you have to get a biopsy and multiple tests and that can cause a lot of physical pain as well as, you know, emotional anguish. Okay, so thanks for answering the question as to why the changes. You know, a lot of women out there, breast cancer is the most common cancer among women. So what are some of the factors, the risk factors? Right, well, there's, we divide them up to things you can control and things you can't control. Age, race, family history, and gender are things that you really uh, can't control. The things you can control, smoking, uh, sedentary lifestyle, not getting enough exercise, eating a high-fat diet, and alcohol abuse. You know, the overall message here is, you know, work with your doctor, understand mm -hmm. what your risk is, yes. and modify what you can modify. Right, so this is saying, you know, for women out there who want to have the mammograms, even if they fall outside of that, you know, if they're younger, maybe in their 30s or in their 40s, and perhaps they're worried about, you know, a family uh, diagnosis or a family history, uh, and they still want to have the procedure done, they can. That's exactly right. Okay. The guidelines were written in such a way as to not exclude women who really want to get them done earlier, right. but to tell women that, hey, this is the time that we need to screen you. We're most likely to catch something early, and we know that if we catch breast cancer early, yes. it's very curable. Still, 250,000 women are diagnosed every single year nice. and almost 40,000 deaths a year. So it's still very, very important to work with your primary care doctor okay. and get screened when appropriate. Great information, and like you said, talk to the doctor. Exactly. All right, and we're talking to you, Dr. Kevin Campbell, as always, every Monday. Thank you for your time. And if you'd like to reach out to Dr. Campbell, it's easy to do. We've got some great links that you can check out at WNCN.com, links to your Facebook page, as well as to your Twitter, and just to reach out with their questions. Exactly, and we'll be happy to answer your back. Thanks a lot, Dr. Campbell.